with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Had some beautiful clouds around this morning, and if I put this into motion and stop it, you can see these pretty rays coming through here. We actually have a name for those rays, those alternating colors of the shadows and then the sun's rays. They're called crepuscular rays and uh, give for a pretty sky there this morning in Rockport. As we saw those clouds continuing to thin out a little bit this afternoon, of course, the temperatures went up, and right now it is still hot and sticky out there. It's 93 at Corpus Christi, feeling like 104. That dew point a little bit lower than yesterday, 75. Nevertheless, we're still feeling that humidity with temperatures right now from 98 at Beeville to 93 at Corpus Christi and the heat index still over 100. In fact, feeling like 108 at Beeville and Alice and 107 Ingleside. Look at the Naval Air Station with that heat index of 110 right now. As we look at the winds, those are going to continue to decrease the next few days. And if you look at the weekend, they change direction. Rather than our usual southeast wind, notice they come around to the east northeast. That's with a tropical wave coming in from the Gulf. That's going to bring increased moisture with it as well by the weekend. In the meantime, it's just hot, dry and sticky right now. There is a chance we could pick up a stray shower tomorrow, but all in all, what you're going to notice the most is again that heat and that humidity. The heat indices as high as 112 tomorrow afternoon and that wind staying around 20 miles an hour or less in the afternoon tomorrow. And these are the forecast highs that are very similar to what we saw today. The only difference tomorrow is we do have a chance we could have a shower pop up uh, as we have a cold front getting a little closer to us. As we look at the future uh, temperatures, heat indice forecast or feels like temperatures, this is 330 tomorrow afternoon. So as the kids are getting out of school, again, they're going to deal with that high heat and humidity tomorrow afternoon as those heat indices 105 to 112. But those are going to come down a little bit. You can see some improvement later this week. Those heat indices dropping as we get into the weekend. Yeah, they're still high, but certainly not as extreme as we've seen the past couple of days. We're getting some relief in northern Texas right now. A weak front has been dropping through, bringing some showers, thunderstorms, and look at those temperatures. Ah, it makes you kind of wish you were there, doesn't it? As those readings are in the 70s and 80s north, but here it's just 90s, 100s, and that's where we're going to stay again tomorrow. But that front that is separating that air is going to drop a little farther to the south. It's not going to make it here, of course, but as it does move south, we'll see some of that moisture increasing out ahead of the front. So that's why I left that spot shower in the forecast for tomorrow. As you look at Future Tracker, you can see there's certainly not much there, but maybe a little rain here and there across the area tomorrow. A lot of rain and a lot of wind is what Dorian is bringing to uh, the islands. It's passed over the Windward and Southern Leeward Islands heading toward Puerto Rico. And it's still a tropical storm. It's got 50 mile an hour winds, gust of 65, heading to the west northwest. And the path of this takes it over Puerto Rico tomorrow, but it's still as a tropical storm. And then it weakens somewhat, at least it's forecast. You know this can change, but it does weaken and then it starts to strengthen again as it heads toward Florida. Right now, the Hurricane Center is keeping it under hurricane strength, but again, that could change and so could the path. So we'll be watching that over the next few days. It's not going to affect us, but there is tropical moisture out here that looks like it's going to move toward us and this is not until early next week. We're talking Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's when that tropical wave affects us and it is, since the moisture is increasing that means we have a better chance of getting a few showers around the coastal bend and that would be in time for Labor Day and next Tuesday. All right, here's your seven day forecast brought to you by AutoNation Super Zero Event. Get new cars and trucks with absolutely zero do it signing. Visit AutoNation.com. So those temperatures are high the next couple of days. They come down a little bit to near normal by the weekend. Spot shower chances at best through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We start to see that chance increasing for the holiday.